This is my first 3D printer and I'm measuring its dimensions. It's Prusa i3 3D printer. To make the enclosure, I am using this 12mm plywood. Then to cross thread it, I use the mitre saw. Its sliding arm can cut up to 16 inches, but for this extra width, I can flip the board and then cut the rest. This usually gives a clean cut. With the cut pieces, I temporarily see how they go together. Then I thought I could make kind of a slant design at the top to mount the LCD. So using the compound square, I mark where the cut has to be made. A 45 degree slant will be the best. Then I set the miter saw to 45 degree and make my cut. To assemble the pieces, I used Fevicol wood glue. My trusted corner brackets can hold the pieces while using the brad nailer. Now using one inch screw, I attach the sides permanently. I repeat the same process to hold the back and the bottom too. The slant section on the top needs a bottom where I can set the electronics and the power supply. So once I mark a straight line, I can set the plywood and brad nail it in place. For the front panel, I cut this piece with 45 degree cuts on either side. This way it can sit flush to the bottom and the top. Before fixing it, I mark where the LCD panel has to go and then I can cut it. Using Fosner bit, I make the holes in each corner. The holes is wide enough to let the jigsaw blade. Now I can cut it out easily by connecting the holes. A test fit to see how it all goes together. Then I attached it permanently with glue and screws. For the top, I came up with this idea. The back section will be fixed to the enclosure so I can set all the electronics under it. And then this piece will act as an access door where I can open and make the connections or do some maintenance. I then fix the back plywood with glue and screws. While fixing it, I made sure that it is flush to the sides. I had this brass hinges which I thought would be perfect for this application. Attaching it is as simple as marking the holes on the plywood and then pre-drill and screw them into place. A small test to finally check if the doors open and close properly. Off the camera, I painted the enclosure in Kalakar branded colors, black and yellow. I tried to mask them to give an accent color and I think it came out good. To accept power, I need to place the 3 pin port at the back of the enclosure. From this, I can route the wires to the top of the section where I will keep the power supply. Here is the problem the walls are too less. I measured it from here but did not give the buffer space, and then I placed it on the inside also which I should have placed on the outside. I always do this mistake and because of which it's not fitting inside right now. 
but that gave me a good idea. Here on this side there is the adjusting screw. So I need to anyway adjust it from this side so I am going to cut the hole on this side. Using a straight edge I mark where I need to cut the hole. It has to be wide enough for the Z axis to slide up and down. Then using a jigsaw I can cut into the plywood. I rounded off the edges to give it a good feel. Now I can slide the 3D printer diagonally and then it will drop in place. On the top the LCD panel can be screwed in place. To attach the glass door I have these hinges. These are pretty easy to use. Just screw one end to the side wall and on the other end the glass goes into the slots provided. These hinges come with the silicone pads that can be tightened. It is required that the electronic boards are properly cooled, so I attach a fan to it. These jewellery locks provide a way in which I can lock the front panel in place. Here's the 3D printer enclosure that's all done and completed. I needed this for two main purposes. I had this Prusa i3 from 2015 and because it was one of the initial models, there was huge problem with the wire management. It was dangling and it was messy like how you saw at the beginning of the video. Now with this enclosure, I can properly put the controller on the top, the power supply over there and do a proper wire management. Now it's much cleaner. The second reason is to trap all the heat that is being generated by the bed plate and the hot end and it is very necessary when you're printing ABS. And the third but the most important one is that it is easy to carry. The Prusa i3 was made of acrylic frame and every time I moved it, I was scared that it's gonna break. But with this enclosure, that problem also is solved. Now I don't have any special design files for this because I just made it as I go. It's just essentially a box with a slant on the top so that I can mount the controllers over here. If you like this design and you want to let me know, then you can do it by clicking on the like button. Also subscribe to this channel to see more such videos. Do follow Kalaka.in on Instagram to see what I'm working on right now. I'm Jesse Api and you've been watching Kalaka.in. Until next time, happy learning.